trying to remember when we wrote our addition sentences. Horizontally. But then we also wrote it vertically. So remember that my one stayed the same. My two went just right below it. I have my plus sign, I have my equal sign, and I had my sum, right? So we're going to do the same thing with math today in subtraction, except instead of adding, we are going to be subtracting, okay? And this is also going to be a good opportunity for us to be able to practice our math facts. So I know that this entire time we've been working on strategies to help us with subtraction, but now we need to be able to recognize those very quickly and um, be able to know what our answer is. For instance, if I have five, two equals three, does anyone know if in the circle should be a plus or a minus? What do you think? Why do you think a minus? Very good. Five plus two does not equal three. So this needs to be a subtraction. So she had that in her brain. So even though she didn't use pictures or her number line to help her, she knew in her brain very quickly that five plus two equals seven. Well, this isn't the number seven. So it must be a minus. So when you guys are doing your subtraction facts today, I want you to be able to see um, 3 minus 1 and very quickly know that the difference is, what number is it? 3 minus 1 is what? It's two. Three minus one equals two. That's a pretty easy one, so we should know that pretty quickly. So a lot of us need to work on that. If you think about it first grade, if I have three and I take away one, it's just a number right before it. Okay? But if you only have plus one or minus one, it's just the one up or one down. So it's the one right beside it. So you guys need to know these and not just try to find the answer and then not think about it anymore. We're going to have to know them for the rest of our life, okay? So the faster we know it, or the faster we get to it, the easier and quicker it will be, the more we have it in our brain. Okay, go ahead and get out your top colorful page. And we are going to draw a picture to show the problem and then write the subtraction problem, but we're going to do it in two different ways. So when you hear me say a number, go ahead and draw your picture. I don't care what you use. You can use counters. You can use cubes. Whichever strategy that works best for you. I am going to be talking about birds in my story. Should you take the time to draw birds? No, we should not. Why? It takes way too long, and we know how to do circles and cubes a lot quicker, right? And those are perfectly fine to represent birds. There are five birds in the tree.
Two birds flew away. Now I see some people drawing a bar model. That's awesome too. How many birds are still in the tree? What was my first number? First tree? Five. You drew five first. Very good. So what number should I write first in my number sentence? Five. You were exactly right. How many flew away? Two. So I have minus two. So if you drew a bar model, that is awesome. But the bar that needs to be on the, the top or bottom, it doesn't matter, needs to be five. And then the part that we have is two. So we're trying to figure out the other part. Do you notice that two only takes up this much? But then this number will probably be very close to what number? To the two. To the two. Because it's a little bit bigger than this box, but it's not the same size. Okay? So that can help you if you chose to do normal. If you chose to do cubes or um, counters, this is what it should look like. Okay? So, raise your hand if you know what the difference is with 5 minus 2. First three? Three. Wonderful. So, write your difference, please. Now, first trade, you have to be careful because we're going to write the same subtraction sentence. We're just going to write it vertically. Okay? So, what number has to go first when I'm subtracting? because it's the biggest number. So write five in the first box. And do you see how they put their subtraction sign over here, kind of off to the side? What number do I have to write next? Two. Two, because that's how many we crossed out, right? Not first three. Okay, and then remember this one line is the equal sign. It's a little bit different when we write it vertically, isn't it? And remember, my difference goes below the equal sign. My difference does not go up here. Okay? It goes below my equal sign. First case, what did we say? 5 minus 2 equals? 3. 3. Very good. So I have the same difference. Does everyone see how we write um, a subtraction sentence vertically? Very good. 